Welcome to another video from ExplainingComputers.com. This time we're going to take a look at this, the Orange Pi 3B. This is a new low-cost ARM-based single-board computer that includes M.2 and EMMC storage options. So let's go and take a closer look. Right, here we have our Orange Pi 3B, and these are available with 2, 4 or 8 gigabytes of RAM, and also in bundles with EMMC flash modules. Here specifically, we have a 4 gigabyte Orange Pi 3B, which I purchased from AliExpress for $40, with a 32 gigabyte EMMC flash module included, which came in this separate box. And Adding taxes and shipping, I paid $55.79 or £46.32. So this 4GB SBC with a 32GB flash module cost me less than a 4GB Raspberry Pi 4, which currently sells for about £55 here in the UK. So let's open it up. Looks nice and straightforward, even for me, just like that. There we are. And uh, oh, look. It's in a bag. It's a seal bag. We'll have to bring in Mr. Scissors and uh, get into the bag. Let's cut across the top like that. There we go. And here we have, yes, our brand new single board computer. And I think we should also open the EMMC flash module. Let's get this out of its box as well. There we go. This will be quite a small thing in this box. It is indeed also in a bag. Uh, not a sealed bag this time. Oh, it is a sealed bag. Mr. Scissors is having a field day, isn't he? Lots and lots of things to cut. There we are. Carefully, I will get out and handle carefully our uh, EMMC flash module. Where do we stick this, you cry? We'll look at that later in the video. But uh, for now, I think we should put the Orange Pi 3B in the context of other SBCs. So let's go over here and put it down like this. There we go next to a Raspberry Pi 3B+, a Rock 3C, and a Raspberry Pi 4. And clearly, all of these boards share a form factor. If with the Orange Pi 3B, having the same Ethernet and USB configuration as a Raspberry Pi 3, rather than a Raspberry Pi 4. In terms of CPU power, the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus has got four A53 cores clocked at up to 1.4 GHz. The ROC 3C has four A55 cores clocked at up to 1.6 GHz. Our new Orange Pi 3B also has four A55 cores, but here clocked at up to 1.8 GHz. And finally, the Raspberry Pi 4 has four A72 cores clocked at up to 1.8 GHz. So, the Orange Pi 3B is less powerful than a Raspberry Pi 4, more powerful than a Raspberry Pi 3, and it does offer more RAM than the Raspberry Pi 3 and more connectivity than either Raspberry Pi model. At the heart of the Orange Pi 3B, we have a Rockchip RK3566 system on a chip, the same SOC used in a Rock 3C. And this has four A55 cores clocked at up to 1.8 GHz, as I mentioned a few moments ago. The RK3566 also includes an Armali G522EE GPU and an integrated MPU. Also on the top of the board, we find our low-power DDR4 RAM, here 4GB, as well as MIPI CSI and DSI connectors for connecting a camera and an LCD display. We also have a wireless module which offers Wi-Fi 5 and Bluetooth 5.0 and there is for this an antenna connector as we can see down here and you might have noticed earlier an antenna did come connected to the board. I've disconnected it just so I can have the pleasure of reconnecting it a bit later. Also on the top of the board we have got a real-time clock battery connector that's great to see. We've also got a fan connector down here that's also great to see a 5 volt fan connector and finally, before we miss it, down here we've got a very small button. This is a mask ROM button, and this is used when programming an EMMC flash module or the board's SBI flash. And uh, the SBI flash is the tiny chip down here next to the RAM and this uh, USB stack. 
Talking of which, if we take a look at the first short edge, we can see more clearly our four Type A USB ports, one USB 3 and three USB 2, and the USB 2 port below the USB 3 port here can be used for programming an EMMC flash module or the onboard SBI flash. And we also have here a one gigabit Ethernet port. Rotating to the first lung edge, we next find the USB-C port for powering the board. This requires a 5 volt 3 amp input. And then along from this, we have a full-size HDMI 2.0 connector supporting up to 4K output at 60 frames a second and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack providing both stereo output and a microphone input. Spinning 90 again, we find indicator LEDs and a power switch behind which there's also a three pin UART debug header. And on this edge, we can also say hello again, hello again to the MIPI display connector and down here, the wireless antenna connector. Finally, on the second lung edge, we find a 40 pin GPIO connector that's color coded and Raspberry Pi compatible. And we're not yet finished because so far we haven't turned the board over and there are four more features to show you underneath. Can you guess what they all are? Well, I'll put you out of your misery and actually turn the board over like this. And the first thing we discover under here is that we've got an EDP or embedded display port 1.3 connector, which provides a third means of video output. We also have a micro SD card slot and a connector array for the EMMC flash module we saw earlier. And then finally, as I'm sure you've noticed, we've got an M.2 slot. And this is M keyed and supports an NVMe SSD over a PCIe 2.0 interface. As we can see, there are mounting holes on the board for a various M.2 sizes. Specifically, we can mount a 2230 or a 2242 M.2 SSD under this board. A larger 2281 would have to sort of stick out this way, something like that. And it is worth noting that Orange Pi do caution with this board that because of the position of the micro SD card slot, you must not try fitting an M.2 SSD that's got any components under the board because obviously they might get shorted out. So we have very much been warned. Anyway, there we are. This is the Orange Pi 3B. And I've just realized I didn't point out the reset switch down here. Guess what? There's a reset switch down here. And the other thing I haven't told you so far because it's about software is that Orange Pi have made available quite a few operating systems at launch for this board, which is rather exciting. So I think it's now time to get this board connected up and to see how it performs. Greetings. We've now got the board connected up, as you can see, and this includes the EMMC module fitted underneath. This contains Debian, which I've written to it using Belena Etcher, and a microSD to EMMC adapter. So let's turn on the power. Here we go. And note, this is not my first boot. I have been in and made various scaling changes as I often do. And it's also worth noting that Orange Pi supply four Debian images for the Orange Pi 3B, Debian 11 and Debian 12 in either server or XFCE desktop variants. And here we're booting into Debian 12 with an XFCE desktop. And I'd also note they also supply Ubuntu 2004 and 2204 also in server and XFCE variants, as well as Orange Pi OS, which is Arch Linux based and a version of Android. Anyway, we've now arrived on the desktop as you can see, and this is a little bit sluggish actually. If we go to the menu, it does lag more than I would expect, but uh, let's go to uh, the web browser and uh, go out to, uh, well, the World Wide Web, launching up Chromium. It'll come up in a second and uh, there it is. And we've arrived on the Orange Pi 3B page, where if we click on download, you can see all those operating systems I was talking about a second ago. We just scroll down here, where are they? There they are. There's all the official images of the available operating systems. Sadly, we don't have anything behind the Open Harmony link here. And if you're not aware of Open Harmony or Harmony OS, 
It's a Huawei operating system which they've developed to replace Android on their devices now that they can't install Android. And I was looking forward to trying this, but sadly we can't try it today. Anyway, we can try other things. Let's just go to the menu and go to bookmarks and we'll just look at the uh, GPU internals for Chromium, which are encouraging when they come up. There they are. They show us that many things are hardware accelerated here, including video decoding. However, when we go to a standard YouTube clip, things are not quite as good. Let's just do that. Let's go to uh, my standard 1080p YouTube clip and I'll speed on through until it's actually playing. Here we now are, took a little time to get here, and we do have drop frames here, although it looks pretty good. It's a bit strange, actually. The, the eye tells me this is pretty good YouTube playback, but uh, if we look at drop frames at the top, frames are being dropped. So I say this is slightly strange. And I've tried this out in Debian 11 and Debian 12 with the XFCE desktop, and in Ubuntu 2004 and 2204 the XFCE desktop, and they all give the same result. They all show us we've got hardware accelerated video playback. The playback looks good, but there are clearly drop frames going on, which is a, a bit disappointing. But uh, anyway, this is what YouTube playback looks like on the Orange Pi 3B in the currently available software. And the other thing I want to show you here is we want to go down to the terminal, which is sitting under system. We're going to go into a XFCE terminal like that. And there we are. Let's just move it around to be in a more pleasing position on the screen like that. And hopefully in the buffer, I've got this command. There we go. This is a sysbench test, which will try to factor prime numbers up to a value of 20,000 with an events limit of 10,000. And this test runs in 9.1 seconds on a Raspberry Pi 3B+, 6.9 seconds on a ROC 3C, and 4.3 seconds on a Raspberry Pi 4. So let's see what we get here on the Orange Pi 3B. There we go. Threads have started. Very, very exciting. All the little virtual workers are doing their thing, which is marvellous. And um, there we are, a result of 10.1 seconds. And I've repeated this test many times. And I'm a bit surprised at the result because this makes the Orange Pi 3B slower than not just the Raspberry Pi 3B+, Plus, but also the ROC 3C, which is also based on an RK3566. So something's not quite right here. Something's not been optimized somewhere. But uh, these are results we currently have. The Orange Pi 3B unexpectedly underperforming in their Sysbench CPU test. Right. Just before we move on from Debian, I thought we'd do some storage interface speed tests. So uh, let's open up a terminal and first of all execute list block devices so you can see what's connected to the system. And what is connected is our EMMC flash module, which is a MMC BLK0 up there. And I've also plugged in a microSD card, MMC BLK1. This is a SanDisk Extreme Pro microSD card. And I've also connected an NVMe SSD. As you can see, this is sort of a pushed in under here, held in place. This is not a fantastic long-term arrangement, just enough for a test. And the driving question is my new Crucial P3 Plus test M.2 NVMe SSD. So let's run our tests. Let's start up first of all with the EMMC flash module, like that. This is of course a test of the speed of the module and the interface it's in. But we have got, as you can see, a speed of 159 megabytes a second for the EMMC flash module that I purchased with the Orange Pi 3B. That's pretty good for EMMC. Let's also test, though, the uh, microSD card. Let's switch over to that and see what that does. This will be slower. It is a SanDisk Extreme Pro card, as I said, with a speed potentially up to about 100 megabytes a second. We've got 64. That's not bad for a microSD card on a single board computer. But of course, what we all want to know is the speed of the NVMe SSD. So let's set that one up. And it is worth noting, it is a PCIe 2.0 times one interface on this board. So the theoretical maximum speed is 500 megabytes a second. So let's see how much of that we actually get. The constraint here most certainly won't be the drive. We are definitely testing the speed of the interface on the board in this test. And uh, I haven't run this yet. And uh, oh! 346 megabytes a second. 
Not a massive speed for an NVMe SSD, but pretty decent for storage connected to a low-cost single-board computer. Right, I thought we'd quickly take a look at Orange Pi OS, which is a very nice operating system, actually a nice distro, and on first run, it even executes a wizard, which makes things feel a bit like being on an x86 computer. And in fact, you also get that feel from a desktop. This desktop is incredibly responsive. It really, I mean, compared to what we were just on, it's absolutely extraordinary. This is massively, massively, massively different. So it, this is very impressive. Apparently, Orange Pi OS has very good graphics drivers in it, and you certainly get that impression on the desktop. This thing is just uh, responsive in a way you don't tend to get on a lower end SBC running, you know, a desktop Linux distro. This said, unfortunately, when we go to the browser, when we run up Chromium like that, come on Chromium, you can do it, there it is, which came up nice and quickly, probably faster than we saw it in Debian, which was running from MMC, we're running from microSD card here. We go to the bookmarks and we go to uh, GPU internals, you will see that we don't have hardware acceleration. It says it's been disabled. I've been messing around with flags and settings for about half a day on this, and if I do turn things on to enable it, it makes things go much worse. So uh, we won't do that. So uh, if we go now to, um, you're going to guess this one, we go to YouTube here. The performance is not good. I will show it you though. Here we are, and we can see, I think, pretty quickly this is not as good as we had previously. It is dropping frames, but also actually stuttering and stuff. So this is, this is not, that wasn't a bad dissolve though, was it? Although it's gone straight into a stutter. So uh, anyway, this is Orange Pi OS. It does work. It doesn't have better video playback. In fact, it's got worse video playback than we saw in Debian or you get in Ubuntu, but it has got a very, very crisp desktop. It is a, a nice operating system. The Orange Pi 3B is a nice new single board computer with very good storage connectivity at its price point. Granted, streaming media playback in a browser is a bit disappointing, not least considering how good streaming media playback is on the ROC 3C, which has got the same system on a chip. This is, however, a software issue, and at least in terms of software, the Orange Pi 3B has got a good range of operating systems available. And if you're wondering, would we get better streaming media playback in Android? Well, we might, but the Android installer for this board is only available right now in Chinese. And despite the fact there's a fantastic manual available for the Orange Pi 3B, about 350 something page manual with lots of very detailed instructions. Despite that, I've yet to get Android installed on this board, so I've not been able to check it out. But now that's it for another video. If you've enjoyed what you've seen here, please press that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. And I hope to talk to you again very soon.